Hi, my name is Armin Rashidi. I'm a third year internal medicine resident at Eastern Virginia Medical School. The article I recently wrote with Dr. Raymond Tahan from Pathology and Transfusion Medicine is entitled Fresh Frozen Plasma Dosing for Warfarin Reversal, a Practical Formula. This article will appear in a forthcoming issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Warfarin is the most widely used anticoagulant. Unfortunately, there is a significant risk of bleeding with warfarin toxicity. The purpose of our study was to derive a simple, accurate, and practical formula to dose FFP for warfarin reversal. Surprisingly, FFP dosing for warfarin reversal is currently, to a large extent, empiric. In our study, we looked at the data of 956 adults who received FFP in our institution for warfarin reversal. We demonstrated that as long as INR is measured within a reasonably short period of time after FFP administration, the following formula predicts in a simple and accurate way the change in INR after one unit of FFP. Pre-INR in this formula is the INR before FFP administration. We have shown that the simple formula has an overall predictive accuracy of more than 90%. For example, assume that we want to reverse an INR of 7 to less than 1.8 in an average patient. Using our formula, INR change after the first FFP would be 3.27. So the expected INR after the first FFP is 7 minus 3.27 or 3.73. This is also the INR before the second FFP. Using the same formula for the second time, INR change after the second FFP would be 1.41. So the expected INR after the second FFP is 3.73 minus 1.41 or 2.32. This is also the INR before the third FFP. Using the same formula for a third time, INR change after the third FFP would be 0.6. So the expected INR after the third FFP is 2.32 minus 0.6 or 1.72 which is our target. So we need three units of FFP for this patient. Our formula is more practical than previously proposed formulas. The newer products for warfarin reversal have their own indications, advantages, and disadvantages. And the purpose of our study was not to advocate one versus others. The outcome of our study was an evidence-based formula derived from a large sample of patients which can be used for warfarin reversal when FFP is chosen as the reversal modality. The next step would be to validate our formula on a prospective cohort of patients. Thank you. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.